Welcome to Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial series episode number 10. It's been a while since the last episode but here we finally are. So in this episode we are talking about components. Components are essential part of Unreal Engine and it will be terrible to use Unreal without components. Also in this episode you are going to see why you should use components. And at the end we are going to see a practical example of why components are essential. So components. In first episode I said that a component is a piece of functionality that can be added to an actor. And for example, I think I used this in first episode too, if you got a car as an actor, then a gas pedal is a component. So imagine you have an empty car with no motor, no gas pedal, no brakes, just a car that's empty inside. A car that cannot do anything but stand in space. Now if you add a gas pedal to that car, now it's a different story. Now that car can accelerate, it can move forward. Another example can be computer mouse with left and right clicks as a component. If you just got uh, a mouse without left and right clicks, without left and right click feature, you cannot do anything. But if you add left click for example, now you can open browser, open some folder and etc. Also with right click, you can refresh your screen and use all different features that you can with right click types of components. If you go to Unreal documentation you can see all different types of components for example AI component, audio component, light components and maybe we will cover some of them in future videos. Why should you use components? Imagine you are creating a game and in that game you want to make some doors be completely always locked so that you cannot open them and you want to make some doors that can be opened, that are openable. Well, let me actually show you this in Unreal. Let's place two door actors here. Go to starter content, props, and place two doors. All right. So what we did previously in episode number eight, we created a new actor class and we said that every actor with this class will rotate for 90 degrees. In case of this door, will open. So, by that logic, what we need to do now is to create another class called door locked or something like that, that cannot open. So now we've come to a part where components can be super useful. Okay, so I got these two doors and let's say I want this door to open when I hit play button and I want this door to stay closed. So how can I do that without creating totally new class? Well, I can do that by adding a component to this door. I can do it either by clicking on this button and new C++ component or by right clicking here new C++ class and choosing actor component. Okay, let's do it this way. So add component new C++ component. So for now I'm going to choose actor component and let's call this class this component class door opener create class. This is a component class as you can see and Right now we want to open doors, so what will we will do? Well, we will make function. So let's type private here, void, let's call this function open door. You should be familiar with these things if you watched episode number 8. So uh, let's actually first create definition here. Yeah, so here it is. Here we want to write our code for opening a door. Now before you do anything, you need to pass this, this include game framework actor.h file. I will put this in the description. You need this to access actors methods while you are in component. So let's look at door cpp, how we actually open door there. So door cpp, this is door, this is an actor, an actor class. Open door function, what we did, we stored actor rotation in f rotator. So we want to do that here. But how can we do that? Well, since this is a component, we cannot just type get actor rotation because here we don't have access to actor's rotation. We don't have access to actor. So how do we get access to that actor? Well, we type get owner and right now this is a pointer to our actor. I just realized now that I haven't covered pointers yet, but I will cover pointers in next video. So 
for now just just copied it minus greater than so we got this arrow so now by doing this we have access to actor of this component to say in other words owner of this component as you can see this is an actor and this actor has a component all right so now we can type get actor rotation and as we did in episode number eight we want to store this in f rotator so let's say new rotation and we want to increase yo value for 90 degrees that's yo plus equals 90 dot f and also in door dot cpp we did use set actor rotation method and we will use that here but we just need get owner before that so set actor rotation and we pass in new rotation so now we just need to call this function and let's call this function when the game starts and let's compile this just make sure you check in movable here in mobility if you want your actor to be able to change transform while in game and now if i hit play as you can see this door here opened because it has door opener component and this one didn't and now what we can do we can also add a component to this door like this and now boom this door too will open so now you can see how this feature can save you a lot of a lot a lot of time so exercise for this video try to create a component that constantly rotates its actor that's it for this video have a great day and goodbye